In a previous day's lesson, we discussed adding categories to your blog. And if that is something that you've chosen to do, this is a good time to stop and this and write down what those different categories are going to be and then which blog posts and whatnot are going to go inside of each category. So if you have it broken up by grade level, like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, like we're doing for you can math, or you have it broken down by content area, like science, math, English, whatever, or you've decided to break it down another way, this is a good time to do those things. And in this intro video, I'm going to show you how we break down our categories. And then I'm also going to show you a couple of other bloggers that are super successful with membership sites that also use categories to break down their blog posts. So once you start to get a bunch of blog posts or you start offering multiple grade levels, multiple curriculums, multiple content areas, once you have a ton of products inside your membership, you're also going to have to categorize those outside of your membership, which is what you do with your blog categories. So to start, let's just take a look at, let's do this one first. So Deep Space Sparkle, this is a membership for art teachers, and it's really good. It's very colorful, very creative, as an art website should be. She does very well, and she has been featured in many places as well with Deep Space Sparkle. But if you notice in the sidebar here, she has a bunch of categories. So she has art lesson categories, and she places hers in the sidebar. And if you notice, hers aren't broken down by grade or anything. They're broken down by, okay, what are the different things that she has on her website? So this may not all go to blog posts. It could go to pages, which we're going to talk about in tomorrow's lessons. It could go to all kinds of different things that she offers to her followers before they become members. So this is another way to break down your categories on your blog slash website. Let's take a look at another one here. This one, she has categories at the top of the page, kind of like we do, but we just do it by grade level. So with our with mathteachercoach.com, we have our different grade levels or different courses at the top, meaning geometry, algebra one, algebra two, pre-calculus, et cetera. And then by grade level, she has it by content area. Okay, so these different categories take you to different things within the website. And lastly, let's look at iTeachly. We have these broken down by the standard rather than by grade level or by class. So in science, there are schools that teach different classes, meaning different content areas of science in the same grade year. So like for middle school, they'll teach the sixth to eighth grade middle school standards all in the same year for the different content areas. Okay, so they may need multiple of these depending on what grade they're teaching, what school district they're at, et cetera. Okay, so science is just a little bit different. Not a big deal. We broke our categories down into these different classes. Okay, so in the first semester, the class might learn earth and space science. In the second semester, they may learn physical science. Then they may learn life science and so on. So this one is broken down a little bit differently. It's a little bit outside of the box compared to how most other blogs break down their categories in the education space. Okay, so what you need to do now is decide what categories do you need the front end of your website, meaning the place that everybody lands before they become members. So your blog, any kind of web pages, any kind of marketing materials, how do you need to categorize them so that it makes sense when they join your membership, they're going to see almost the same categorizations, right? So yes, we have a blog for earth and space science lessons, but then inside our membership, we also have a category for earth and space science lessons. So what they see on the outside is the same thing they see on the inside. There's just more of it, all of it on the inside, right? So once they become a member, they'll get access to all of our earth and space science stuff, not just our blog posts and other freebies that are outside of our member area. So that's what you're going to use categories for. Okay, hopefully that clears up any questions that you had with how to use categories within your blog or the outside of your membership, meaning your marketing materials. We will be talking more about this in lesson one. So let's go ahead and jump into lesson one and start adding our actual blog posts to our website.